Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Real Bomber Sports where we've been through another round of NASCAR action this time at a bloody nippy Atlanta. I'm here to talk about a new championship that uh, I created, partially inspired by one of my favourite YouTubers around here. He's not very active anymore, understandably he's got his, his career to look forward to. Uh, Mr Brock Beard, who, who did his series of uh, starting group videos and that, they were amazing. He does a website called Last Car. And you may have seen this uh, reference on J Ski a few times. I mean, it was referenced this morning when talking about Landon Castle being the first driver ever to finish last in both the first two events. It basically chronicles every single last place finisher in NASCAR, which you may think, why would anyone care about that? But it's, it's quite an interesting little curious thing. I, I, I really enjoy it. And it got me thinking. So for a bit of fun, I am going to introduce to you right here, right now, the Norm Benning Trophy. Named after Norm Benning, obviously, because I think he just sort of represents the spirit of a great sort of underdog NASCAR driver. He's turned up for years and years with his own team, his own cars, minimal sponsors, minimal money. He works on his own cars, he builds them, he drives them, he does everything. And he's never asked for any glory. He just wants to go racing. He doesn't care about anything else. And he, he won a lot of attention, a lot of affection, I think, when he qualified for Eldora in 2013 and then did it again last year. He made it through the heats and qualified both years. And he's become a bit of a fan favourite just for that. He kind of represents the spirit of the plucky underdog, and we love him for that. Going to bring my friend in Jared, J. Rod Pierce, on this as well, because last year he, he did a thing where he redid the Nationwide series by F1 points, uh, which is quite interesting. So I might do the same thing here. Basic premise of this series is this is a championship for every all the small teams and you may think well what defines a small team well in my mind uh one fast rule is that everyone below the top 25 in last year's points makes it in and there are a few exceptions to that so most of the teams that are in are people like jermaine racing uh tommy baldwin racing front row motorsports uh, bk racing uh levine family mike hillman racing joe falk uh, Premium Motorsports, Team Extreme, all those kind of teams, those m sort of lower down underdog teams. Um, there are a few exceptions. Uh, teams from who are part of bigger teams that finish below the top 25 don't count. So for example, last year, Danica Patrick and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. both finished outside the top 25 in owner points. But they are respectively part of Roush Racing and uh, Stuart Haas Racing, who are very big teams. So I thought, well, no, it's not really fair to include them. One I'm interested to see what you guys think of is uh, whether single car teams should be included. Now, most of the time, this would be fine, but there are two exceptions to that, which I think kind of cloud the waters. JGD Daughtry Racing with AJ Allmendinger finished something like 13th in last year's owner points because he made the chase. Martin Truex Jr. finished well in the top 20 as well, or at the very least in the top 25 for Furniture Row Racing. Now, some people argue, well, they're Richard Childress satellite teams. They get Richard Childress equipment and da 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 same for Wood Brothers this year, they get Penske equipment and things like that. Yeah, but they're still fairly small teams when you think about it. It is quite a miracle to see what Furniture Row Racing have been doing on such a limited budget. And the fact they managed to win a race in 2011 and, and do such good things over the last few years makes, them, makes me think, well, maybe they do deserve inclusion. They're not exactly a Roush or a Penske or a, a Hendrick or a Joe Gibbs or something like that. So are they in the spirit of this? I want to hear your thoughts on this, whether we should include those guys. And so, after the opening two rounds of the Norm Benning Trophy 2015, the inaugural Norm Benning Trophy, we have a sort of interesting dilemma, and this is why I wanted to ask you about the inclusion of the likes of Furniture Row and JTT. Because right now, I've got the owner points up on screen after the second round at Atlanta, and at the moment, the leader of the Norm Benning Trophy is either Furniture Row Racing in the 78, or Jermaine Racing in the number 13 with Casey Mears who has actually had a sensational season so far. He's actually sixth in points overall. It's quite, quite unbelievable, actually. He's done very well. AJ Allmendinger uh, also had a very good run. He finished seventh at uh, Atlanta. So he was, if we're going to include JTT Dorchu Racing, then he was the uh, Norm Benning Trophy race winner for Atlanta. He was the winner there. Now, if we look down, <clears throat> further down through the order, we see uh, the number 38 for Front Row Motorsport is in 11th in owner points. So they be either second or third overall. I'm just continuing to look down here. 24th in owner points, we've got the 34, which is for front row motorsports, which obviously David Reagan ran in the first round. And then Joe Nemechek took over at Atlanta when uh, uh, Reagan moved over to the 18. Actually did quite well, I think, jumping in that car for the first time. He did very well. Uh, we have the number 32 for Go Faz Racing. That's in 27th place in the owner point standings. We then have the H. Scott Motorsports Duo, 28th and 29th, 46th and the 51. And going down, we've got, here we are. We are definitely in the Norm Benning Trophy category down here. We've got the Joe Falk, number 33, in 30th place. And then the Levine family, 95, 31st. In fact, the 24 might be down here somewhere. Yes, the 24 is in 40th in owner points. Goodness me. 
Maybe he wants to take part in the... Maybe he wants to win the Norm Benning Trophy before he retires. Now, th there are some riders to this. Obviously, I still want to know if you guys want me to include the likes of JTT Daughtry Racing or Furniture Row, or do you just think it should be for those smaller teams? Do you think they've graduated and are now sort of... They're playing among the big boys, so why should they be in this competition? It's up to you. I, I am undecided on it so far. And I'm also undecided on the points so far. I'm, I'm going off of straight owner points here, which will probably be the way to go, or I might do something different. I might do... Uh, I'm thinking like the Rookie of the Year has a separate point system and uh, like the Independence Trophy in the British Touring Cars has slightly different point systems. So let me know on these things. As I say, I'm roping in my friend uh, J. Rod Pierce, he's a great guy. Uh, he will hopefully be joining us in future episodes of this, of the Norm Benning Trophy 2015. And we may be doing a different point system. We may do it by F1 points. That may be quite interesting. I think this is just going to be fun. I love the small teams in NASCAR. I don't know about you, I really love them. I think they kind of embrace the spirit of competition. And when they do get the odd great result, it's just fantastic. There you go. It really kind of warms the heart, if you will, when you see those guys racing. You see those guys racing to the Daytona 500 and then get good results out of it. You just think, that's that's really cool. This is why I've created the Norm Menning Trophy for 2015. Let me know your thoughts on uh, who should be eligible and the point system. And um, I'll see you next week after Vegas.